about digestion and respiration and their waste products we have already started and now we will focus on the urinary system what are the main parts of the urinary system first is kidneys now there are two kidneys and they are reddish brown in color and what is their shape it is bean shaped they are 10 cm long 5 to 6 cm broad and about 4 cm thick what is their location they are located in the abdomen on the either side of the vertebral column so if we want to draw the diagram it will be somewhat like this now you must be wondering why I have not drawn them at same level the reason is that left kidney is slightly at a higher level and it is also closer to the center right and if you see shape convexity is on the outer side while concavity is on the lower side uh, sorry inner side so this is about the kidney and it is mainly concerned with urine formation the unit of excretion which is found in millions in the kidney is nephron We will study the details of nephron separately. Now coming to the second part and that is ureter. Ureter are tube like structures which connect kidneys with the urinary bladder. They arise from the concave side of the kidney. and open into a sac like structure called urinary bladder. So, this can be labeled as kidney, this is ureter and this is urinary bladder. And this is urethra. Now, the ureter can also transports urine from kidney to the urinary bladder tubular transports urine from kidney to the urinary bladder Now just notice the shape of the urinary bladder. What does it remind you of? A triangle. Broad from here, tapering from the tip. So we can say it is a triangular sac. What does it do? It stores urine. At its tip, there is an aperture called urethra. through which urine is passed out. Now, in case of women or females, the ureter is only 4 centimeters long, but it is much longer in case of men. Now, another imp important difference between men and women is that in case of females or the woman, the passage for urine is separate from that of reproductive tract, but in case of men, it is common. So, that is why there we call it urinogenital duct, but in case of women, there is a urinary duct and there is a separate opening for the mensuration or for the uh, you know delivery of the child. So, reproductive passage and the urinary passage are separate in women, but it is same in the case of men.